And I forgot to record the intro, so um, thank you for 300 subs. Uh, this is the intro tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoy. Um, width 1920, height 1080. Um, 10 seconds, all frames, like uh, all frames. Um, save, make sure you have somewhere to save it. So find where you want to save it. Go where, this is my folder where I have, I keep all my stuff. Uh, here, no, 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 not that one. Looking for a tutorial, then render, save. So find a place and make sure it's in a folder because it renders out like 300 or uh, like PNG files. Make sure format is PNG, yeah. Alpha channel has to be checked, and then all of this. So this will be closed. Click it and it opens. Uh, make sure all of these are ticked. So yeah, make sure they're ticked. Multipass doesn't matter, anti-aliasing, set this to best, 1x1, one 2x2, one, two two. make sure that is what it's like. Options, don't change anything here, these two don't matter. Then just right click on here, add add a sharpen filter, whatever it is. Uh, I already have it, it'll be here somewhere, I don't think I can add two, that's why it's not there. I already have one here, so add it and make the strength 10. Okay, now we'll go over what I just did before. MoGraph, MoTeX, like this, and in the middle. Click on here, go to here, put this in the middle like that. So that green, these green dots line up with this um, like bar in the middle with the red one. Make sure they line up to that. Then you can go back here, change it to what you want. I'm just gonna put it as name, like this. So this is name. You can set it to whatever you want. I don't know. <coughs> Sorry. Um, just set it to whatever you want. Uh, then choose a font. Uh, so you can choose. I'll choose Huggable. Uh, if it's a small font, you might have to go back in here and just recenter it. So now what you want to do is set this to 40, or you know you can set it to whatever you want. But it just gets bigger the more you um. Uh, the more you, the bigger the number is, the bigger the thing goes. Uh, so yeah, set it to 40, that's what I like to set it to. Um, then go caps, uh, start, fill it cap, end, fill it cap, like this. Set steps to 20, set radius to 2, and then do the same for this one, 22, like this. Then copy and paste another Motex layer, set this one to 20, Set the radius. Set, set the depth to twenty. Set the step uh, radius to four, and then this one to four. What is this? Oh my god! Okay, set that one to four. And that one to four. Uh, now what you want to do is go back by pressing this thing. Go back into here and drag this into the middle. So the the middle text it has middle text now. Yeah easy now highlight these and move them into the middle of this green line thing here move them into the middle of there so now they'll be on the actual center axis thing and then what you want to do is um, go like this highlight them both and press C so I should put them into this thing um, open this shift and just drag them out uh, delete this and then just do the same with this one and drag it out uh, drag it out of everything, make sure you do that. Okay, so uh, now select both of the ends and press Alt and G and it will group them like this. Uh, same with the A, Alt G, uh, M, Alt G, E, Alt G, like that. And you can name them whatever you want. I'm just going to name N, A, N, E, like that. Then, um, Highlight them, go MoGraph, Fracture, and then put them in like that. Then what you might need to do is just make sure this axis of the Fracture is uh, in the middle of the text, um, which it is. If you do exactly what I did, it should it should be in the middle. If it's not, I'll just show you how to do it. Uh, just um, come over here to the left side of the screen. There should be this elf looking thing. Uh, pretend it was like over here. I don't know. It won't be over there, but pretend it's like, I don't know, maybe here. Um, 
what you can do is you can just drag it like this and uh, into the middle and then once you've done that just take off the L thing so I'm just gonna put it back to where it was <coughs> but in case it was now you know now what you want to do is come up, up to the top here mesh axis center axis center and um, click include children use all objects uh, click on the N and then click execute A um, uh, M and E, what that does is just moves the axis into the middle of the text so you can spin them on their own like axis and they won't look weird. Uh, so yeah, same with the fracture, it should just look fine. <coughs> if you had the fracture thing like um, down here, like I said before, it'll look uh, kind of weird and it'll just it'll rotate on that axis and it goes like this. So it looks kind of weird, you know. You don't want that, you want it to be rotating on this axis. Uh, so that's simple enough. Um, it's easy. Um, so now what you want to do is go to this spline thing, click on circle, and then click on camera. Now drag the camera into the circle by just clicking and dragging, and then go into the camera by clicking this uh, rectangle box thing. Then click on the camera, rotation zero, uh, zero, 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 just down here. Make sure you zero, 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 0 apply and it just moves to the complete center and drag the camera out to where you want it to be so now there we have it now we're ready to, to start from that oh I also forgot one thing go to mode here project turn off linear workflow and then set default object color to 80% grid which makes everyone look a little bit better uh, also come here to this uh, like film thing and then all frames uncheck that so now it should look like that it just um, stops the uh, music from like skipping around <clears throat> now go MoGraph, Effector and Sound, add a sound come here to sound file, click on the three dots now you want to go here, I just stole a song <laughs> now you just find the song you want uh, I just stole one by just going to YouTube <coughs> Say you wanted this song. I don't know. Just say you wanted this song. Copy this. And go to YouTube. YouTube to MP3. And go here. Paste the link. Convert video and click download. Once it processes. Yeah, click download and there you go. You have the song. The, the, yeah. <clears throat> so it's pretty simple. Um. Now we can start the songs in, you know, listen. So it's actually set this to 11 if you're using the song. Maybe 12. So, circle, what I like to do just to start, I'll just do a simple one. First you have to find the actual drop, so let me find that quick. So mine's at, sorry, 104. Just keyframe at the start using this button here. Then go to 104. And go 5 frames behind it, so to 99. Here. Uh, Drag this uh, blue axis down 180 degrees and keyframe and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 go to 104 and go like this so it's like that so now just there's a simple kind of movement like this so it's pretty simple um, so yeah um, next what you have to do is <clears throat> you can add a uh, the text spinning round by just you know what you can highlight these keyframe at the start go to 99 come out the camera so it spins around like this click on uh, highlight them all and then just spin 180 degrees like this keyframe goes 104 and go like this so the text just like spins around now like you know like this. So now you can do the camera. I'm just going to take the camera, zoom it all the way out to like here. Keyframe, go to 99, zoom it in to like here. 
and then shoot back out again like that. So now the whole camera is looks like this. Okay, that looks nice. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the first keyframe and I'm gonna take this green bar and I'm just gonna twist it round to about 220 here. Keyframe. So now I'll do this. So it has a little bit of a, like a nicer effect, I don't know. And I'm gonna add a twist. So what you can do is uh, click on the fracture, go here and <coughs> add twist. So then it like twists the thing, the text. First you have to put it in here and it should twist the text like this. There, I got it. Um, there's one of these you have to right, set this one here to 90 and I'll twist set the bottom one to 90 and I'll twist like this like kind of nice you know um, then what you have to do is just drag these out so it fits over the whole text I can't actually see right now there uh, so now it twists the whole text instead of just a little bit of it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to um, 61 uh, keyframe uh, go to 99 and set it up a little bit more 4 and then set it to 0 so now it looks like this um, I'm gonna set this a little bit higher a lot actually Okay, so now it looks like this. Alright, okay, so um, I just changed the uh, twist from here, here at the start to 86, here to 30, and then here to 0. I'm going to change this down to 25, actually. Okay, so now it looks like this. Okay, so now you have to find your next beat to do the next thing. Uh, with this song, I'm going to do After Effects Sync uh, right here. These beats here. But, um, so my next beat's kind of like 200, so let me just try to find it. Here, 181. Here, 181. So go five keyframes behind, keyframe. And then go to 181. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this up like this, 60 degrees, keyframe, and then find the next one. Go five keyframes behind and um, go back to it. And go like this. So now it does this. So now I found my next keyframe, which is like at 209. So. So you find the beat, you go 5 keyframes behind and then um, go back to the beat. So it just keyframes so it stops it from moving um, when it's not supposed to be. So then it comes around like this. So then it just looks like this. Pretty simple. Now what we can do, since we have two uh, more than two keyframes, go to... Uh, actually, actually, we can just do the camera. We can just do the camera. Uh, so we need to find these beats again. So go back here, 176. Keyframe the camera and go one, two, three, four, five, like that. Um, I'm gonna zoom the camera in a little bit at this keyframe, and then go to circle. Find the next one, which is 189. Keyframe, go one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna come out a little bit for this one, a little bit more maybe, and then find the next one. Which is 203, keyframe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then just zoom back to like the original uh, space. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is the um, keyframe F curves for this. Just go in circle, right click, and go show F curves like this. So they should look something like this. I don't know, if you've copied me so far, 
uh, this should look like this. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to just uh, just follow me. This is what you want to do with every F curve, um, like ever. So just just follow what I'm doing. So you want to just take this down a little bit so the F curve is like it's smooth and it doesn't look like like a line. It, sh it should never be like a line, and uh, you should never have something like this because it means it's gonna stop. Watch in the middle of it, it's gonna stop. Um, so watch. Like it stops here. It stops moving. So you don't want that. You want it to look smooth. So um, go back into your F curves, and you just uh, want to tweak around with it until it's like a like a uh, like a smooth like curve thing. The further you put this down, uh, look, look, I'll show you. If it's all the way down here, it's gonna start from like all the way up here, and you don't want that. So just keep it um, like a reasonable length. So like here and also see if you if I move this over here the keyframe moves so it's moved to there so you don't really want to do that and now I've managed to lose my F curves right um what the fuck do I do uh, okay I got it I had to move, move my taskbar great let me just Come here. Okay, I got it. So now, if I move this over here, it go it like goes off, and the keyframe looks weird. So you just want to find where the actual keyframe is. Go to circle, go into F curves, and just put it on the on the green line. Like this. And I just want to mess around with it till it looks like a kind of smooth. Um, so that should be good, so now it looks like this. So now for this one, you can, this one's pretty simple, this F curve. I'm just going to move this a little bit because it's a little bit like slow. Uh, so for this one, you can just uh, highlight these and then click on this thing out here, ease out and then auto tangents. And that keyframe is all smooth now pretty simple one to do so now it just looks really smooth so yeah it looks kind of nice yeah uh, for the next one it's pretty simple just the same as the other one just move this down a little bit put it down like this like that just make sure they're like smooth so it looks like a like a smooth line Otherwise, it's gonna be um, like choppy. The cinema 4D will be choppy. So now that should be smooth, I think. So that looks pretty smooth now. So you know, but the camera doesn't look smooth. So what we can do with the camera is just again go show F curves. Open this. The camera is really simple. You highlight everything. Click on. Uh, ease out and then auto tangents and just does it for you you can mess around with these so they don't go too far in or what you can move this down move this up mess around with it just this is how far the camera goes in if you pull it down and then uh, how far it goes out if you pull it up i think so then it looks like this so the camera's a lot more smooth and i'll do the same for the first start camera, move, camera movement as well so it's a lot more smooth like this. So now it looks nice, yeah? Okay, uh, we still got to do the um, this though. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, do the next keyframe. So find the keyframe, which is at 176. Keyframe, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ahead. Put this uh, back 180 degrees and keyframe. And then find the next one. And do the same. I need to do I need to pull this up? Okay then then pull it up 180 degrees like that. So that just does um, I'll show you why it does this weird thing here, it's just part of the F curve. Um, and then put this one around 360 degrees like this. 360 like 
like that. So now it just F curves again. And I moved this one a little bit before uh, by mistake. So now what we're going to do is highlight these because there's more than one. Uh, pull it up a little bit and just move the F curve. Pull it down. Move the F curve like this. Pull this up and then just, just mess around like we did before, remember. Um, don't move them too far down, otherwise it looks weird. Uh, same with them moving them too far up. And make sure you highlight them, because since there's more than one, um, don't do that. So, uh, just move one of them, rather than all of them. Uh, yeah, you need to highlight them. So, again, don't move them too far down, otherwise it'll look weird. Same with don't move them too far up. Um, that should be good. So now it should just look like this. I'll show you it with the camera as well. Okay, what we can do with the F curves is so it doesn't look so uh, just spins and doesn't do anything. Just move. Uh, I'm gonna move this move a little bit down, down a little bit, just so it doesn't do nothing. Because right now it's not doing anything. Like there, that thought was good. What I'm gonna do with this one, because it looks plain, I'm gonna add a twist. So just go in the twist again, keyframe at zero. Or actually go one keyframe before, keyframe at like at zero, yeah. And then go here and keyframe at like 90. And then find the next beat, just go here, set it to zero again. Like that, so now it should look kind of good. Uh, it didn't do it enough for a long time, so now I can move this over a little bit like to 20. So now it looks kind of good, uh, with the little twist. Nice. So then the next beat is around about here. So. Okay, so 184, 284, 285. Here, and then go five keyframes behind. And then, um, then put it down 180 degrees. Find the next one. Hold on. Okay, find the beat, go five behind, keyframe. And then go thing again here. So that looks like. Then find the last one. If this is a 360. Um, since this is a 360 degree turn, and it uh, you have to do more. Just spin it around 360 like this, and move this a few keyframes behind. Uh, like here, so then it should be um, eight keyframes behind, like that. Go into F curves, and then what you have to do here, since it's on the line, uh, go F curve, show all keys, show keys to select the curve, and just highlight it. Then you can just grab this, pull up a little bit, and grab this and pull it up. So now it's off the line, and you can just mess around with it here. Um, like this, you can just mess around with it. Okay, so now it's off the line, we can put the show all keys and then like that. So now that's smooth, that looks nice. Uh, this can be moved around until it looks nice. Just what you think looks nice as a smooth curve, uh, it should be all right. So now that's pretty smooth. This one up a little. down to look nice. Um, that looks kind of smooth. Okay, so now it looks like this. So since we turned it the other way, it just, you know, it looks kind of cool.
Now we can do the camera for this, so just go to 80, camera, keyframe, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out, keyframe, find the next one, keyframe, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm gonna zoom in now, maybe not that far, keyframe. And go here, keyframe, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, because that's a 360 degree one out to what it normally is and then we just go camera f curves and then just do what i told you to do last which is highlight all of these and then all of them ease out and then auto tangents make sure this isn't too high because otherwise it'll look kind of weird make sure this isn't too high and then this thing can be a little bit smoother make sure this isn't too low because it looks way too low at the moment okay Maybe just pull this in a little bit, and then we'll try that. Okay. You can move the camera out uh, since it's so zoomed in, so close to the text here. You can move it a bit. There we go. Okay, so now what we need to do is the, 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 the do the. Okay, so now what we need to do is the text for here. So find the first one, uh, keyframe, and then go one, two, three, four, five. Come out the camera so you can see it. Uh, 180 degrees backwards like this, and keyframe, and then go circle. Go to the next one, keyframe one, two, three, four, five go here and like that so we'll find the next one and then since this is the 360 degree one keyframe go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 move it by 360 degrees like that and then we'll do the F curves again just by going in here oh no I don't know okay. okay so now what we want to do is we want to do the text spins for this one Find the first one, um, keyframe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, go 180 degrees behind, then keyframe, find the next one, uh, keyframe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 180 degrees in here, keyframe, and then find the next one, and then since this is the uh, 360 degree one, keyframe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and spin it around 360 degrees, and then just keyframe at the end as well. And then do that for wait we can do that in a minute. Okay, so open up the F curves again, and then just remember to highlight them because they're separate uh, no objects. Make it look smooth, about as smooth as you can get it. Uh, it doesn't matter that much because it's, it's text and you can't really see the smoothness smoothness of the spins uh, that much, so it shouldn't really matter. But make sure still try and make it as smooth as possible. Um, the smaller ones are a little bit harder to do since there's not that much room to use here. So just try your hardest to make it as uh, smooth as you can. Highlight here and then just put this up a little bit. And then like that. So now the text just goes like this. So now it's... There we go. So now it looks like this. Okay. I'm going to just mess around with the camera because it comes in really quick there. So I think it goes too far out as well. So you can just move this up and move this down. And then it should look a little bit better. Yeah, that was bad. Before, you might want to save it as well. Just in the, um, the file you saved it before. I just like to save it as C4D like that. And make sure you don't lose it, you know. So. Okay, so now, uh, just keyframe the circle at the end. Camera at the end. And then, 
go in the circle keyframe, hit F curve, and bring this down a little bit. Uh, so it's nice, like that. Then camera, go here, pull this up, and then boom, All right, we are done. Boom. Okay, so the last thing we have to do now is add materials. Uh, so what we can do now is go to content browser. If you have materials installed, they'll be here. If not, you can just drag them in. Um, there's plenty of tutorials on how to do that. Just put the lights in and then choose the materials you want. I'm going to choose iron 1 uh, or iron 6, I don't know. And then red 1. Those materials are really nice. I'm going to go with iron 6 actually. Open these all up by themselves. I don't know why that's like that, but it is. So I can just. I decided to do that. Put that back. Um, first one, put on the end, put that one. I'm gonna do it so I can see the whole text like this. On the end, just put that. And then on the A, like that. Uh, M, A. Just put them like that. Then just put the alternate color on. So red to black, black to red black, black to red, then highlight them all, go cubic seamless, and now if I take this circle down a little bit because the light isn't shining too bad, too good there, looks, uh, let me drag it down a little bit more actually, it should look really nice there, really really nice, okay, so now what you can do is just hit the render button, and it will look really really good. Okay, so I'm just going to render this out real quick, and um, I'll be back with the After Effects part next.